welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. We are back with our very special guest and friend of ATP, Claire Lopez. Claire is one of those treasures in American foreign policy. She knows everything about foreign and domestic terrorism. And today we are going to learn about some really scary stuff that is behind the scenes causing the trouble in the streets from coast to coast. Claire is the founder of her own organization, Lopez Liberty LLC, and uh, she's a treasure and I'm thrilled to have you back with us, Claire. This is gonna be part one of two, where we're gonna talk about the red, black, green access. Claire, welcome back. Thank you, Barry. So you've got red, black, and green, Real quick, tell us the thesis behind the idea. Right, so red refers to the forces of communism, Marxism, Leninism, Maoism. Uh, so it includes the original uh, thinking of the philosophers um, and, but all the way up to the, the, the current day, the Communist Chinese Party. Uh, the black is uh, the Black Lives Matter movement, which is an umbrella movement. It incorporates many groups within it. Uh, and it is very much allied with and founded by Marxist self-avowed Marxist communists. And then finally, the green is the Islamic movement in the United States led by the Muslim Brotherhood, which has been keeping more of a low-key um, uh, posture lately, but very much uh, connected behind the scenes to all of this. Well, let's start. Let's start with the red, the Marxist-Leninist pro-Maoist insurgency. It's a revolution and it's here. Um, how would you define the communist movement that's here? Who fronts for it? And why don't we hear those words? Well, you know, I think that after the collapse of the Soviet Union back in 1991, many of us thought, okay, we're done with that. The Soviet Union is gone. It collapsed. We're finished. Well, the USSR collapsed, but communism did not. And of course, communism goes all the way back to the 1917 revolution in Russia uh, and the ideology uh, that it was based on, taken from Marx, and then of course developed, implemented by Lenin and by Stalin. All of that did not go away. And it permeated our society, even as we were distracted with other things like 9-11 and, and, and uh, the Islamic uh, terror threat. So in uh, the schools, the universities, behind the scenes and the textbooks, this was being promoted and taught, and we just weren't paying attention. Well, it, like you said, you don't hear the Communist Party, the American Communist Party anymore. You hear the Democrat Socialist or Democrat Socialist Farmers or the various new names, but the ideology seems identical. And... and, and well, and, and the Communist Party USA, the Revolutionary Communist Party, um, are, are still very much alive and well. And it is from them, you asked who fronts that. Well, Antifa front, fronts that. I don't think people probably know, but it was the Soviet Comintern, Communist International, that sent Antifa to the United States first, way back in the 1930s. And they're still here probably proclaiming they're against fascism, and yet they behave every bit as belligerently uh, and antisocial as Hitler's brown shirts in the 30s. Anyone that dissents may get their head broken or their store broken or whatever. Well, but we, we do need to make a distinction because it was the Antifa in Germany, Antifascistische, is the German, Faktion, that fought in black shirts against the Nazi brown shirts as they were both rising through the 1930s. Today's Antifa and its offspring, which is Black Lives Matter movement, are ideological descendants of the, the original Antifa on the streets of Germany and Italy and Spain of the 1930s. But violence on both sides and it's literally out of control. Um, that's what makes it so antisocial. You don't argue with someone that has a pipe uh, coming at your head, mm. as many people are learning. So let's talk about their relative, um, the Black Lives Matter movement. 
not Black Lives Matter as a statement. I'm referring to the movement that you exactly. rightly said is run by, well, self-avowed Marxists who have been trained in Marxism. Exactly. And the three founders of the Black Lives Matter movement, which was back about 2013, 2014, after the riots in Ferguson, Missouri, are three African-American self-avowed Marxists, uh, Alicia Garza, Opal Tometi, uh, and Patrice Cullors. And videos have surfaced recently, in particular, of uh, Opal Tometi uh, down in Venezuela with socialist communist Nicolas Maduro videos of Patrice Cullors from a, a few years ago, declaring openly, we are trained Marxists. Now, do all the kids in the streets with those pipe bombs and the bricks and everything else, do, do they know this? No, they probably don't, but it doesn't matter because they're being used very effectively by the leadership that does know that this is communist Marxist uh, on the streets of, of America. Yeah, and I've never seen anything like it in my lifetime, and I'm sure you would agree. Uh, once or twice there were outbreaks, but it's coordinated, it's organized, it's extremely well-funded and incredibly well-coordinated. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, I would also say that today's Black Lives Matter movement um, adherents are the ideological descendants of the 1960s Black Panthers, uh, when you had people like Bobby Seale, Hue Huey P. Newton, uh, Stokely Carmichael, going over to Beijing on a regular basis to meet with the communist leadership of China. They are the ideological descendants to this day right now. All right, so let me stop you before we talk about the green part. Here's what I don't get, Claire. 90% of Americans believe either overtly or passively in capitalism, in the idea of freedom, in the idea of you work hard, you get to keep it. Uh, if you don't work well, there's going to be a safety net, but you're not going to do really, really well. In other words, socialism and obviously communism is antithetical to the way they think. So how is it possible that this very radical ideology has taken hold so completely from coast to coast. They can turn out thousands and thousands of people in the street from coast to coast in all major cities. What well, has happened? Let's go back to those 45 goals of communism, right? And that one about getting control of the schools, the curricula, the textbooks, the teachers' unions. That's what happened because they don't teach what communism really is or how every single place and time that communism, socialism has been forcibly imposed upon a population, what happens is, is a horrific, a collapse of society, um, dead people by the hundreds of millions, yes, I said hundreds of millions of dead people, because it doesn't work. But they're not teaching the kids that. They're not teaching how it has failed in every single place, even currently to this day in Venezuela. Collapse, complete collapse. Instead, what are they telling them? Well, there will be forcible redistribution of wealth, and all the rich people are going to have their wealth taken away from them, and property will be held in common, and the banks will be taken apart, uh, okay? And then everything will be free, free education and, and, and free, uh, uh, free stuff, right? Isn't this what we hear to this day by those who propose these things, the Bernie Sanders bots, uh, the AOCs of the world? What are they promoting? Free stuff. But they never talk about the history of what communism and socialism really does to a population, Soviet Union, communist China, Pol Pot in Cambodia, right today, Venezuela. Thanks, Claire. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on ATP Report. Claire, tell people how to find you, would you please? Yes, I'm working on a website, which I don't quite have up yet. So in the meantime, you can find me on Twitter, at Claire M. Lopez. I'm on Parlay as well, at Claire M. Lopez, on Facebook also with my name. I publish at the United West, videos also at Sharia Crime Stoppers, and you can find videos and writing of mine at the Citizens Commission on National Security, ccnationalsecurity.org. Please check out Claire. She's a treasure and you need to learn what she has to te teach. And for those of you that are not subscribed yet, please take out your cell phone. 
Type the word truth in a text message, T-R-U-T-H, and send it to 88202, push send. You'll be automatically and instantaneously subscribed to our text message service. You'll get our videos, our articles, and all of our updates absolutely free. We never charge for content. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Newsbaum.